The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I may know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Our divine credentials. Holy Father, keep through Thine own name those whom Thou hast given me, that they may be one, as we are. John 17, verse 11. The unity, the harmony that should exist among the disciples of Christ is described in these words that they may be one as we are. But how many are there who draw off and seem to think that they have learned all they need to learn? Those who choose to stand on the outskirts of the camp cannot know what is going on in the inner circle. They must come right into the inner courts, for as a people, we must be united in faith and purpose. It is through this unity that we are to convince the world of the mission of Christ and bear our divine credentials to the world. I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. John 17, verse 23. Can we comprehend the meaning of these words? Can we take it in? Can we measure this love? The thought that God loves us as he loves his Son should bring us into gratitude and praise to him. Provision has been made whereby God can love us as he loves his Son, and it is through our oneness with Christ and with each other. We must each come to the fountain and drink for ourselves. A thousand around us may take of the stream of salvation, but we shall not be refreshed unless we drink of the healing stream ourselves. We must see the beauty, the light of God's word for ourselves, and kindle our taper at the divine altar, that we may go to the world holding forth the word of life as a bright shining lamp. How precious are these words! Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am that they may behold my glory. Christ wills that we should behold his glory. Where? In the kingdom of heaven. He wills that we should be one with him. What a thought! How willing it makes me to make any and every sacrifice for his sake. He is my love, my righteousness, my comfort, my crown of rejoicing, and he wills that we should behold his glory.